Individual section wrestling tournaments are coming up this weekend around the state. In this week's Sports Jam Spotlight, we meet a talented Totino Grace Jr. who is wrestling for more than just his team. It usually doesn't take long for Lance Benick to get to work on the wrestling mat. The two-time state champion from Tuchino Grace carries an 81-1 record with him over the past two seasons. On this night, he pins a friendly wrestler in 11 seconds. He is the number one ranked high school wrestler at 195 pounds. That's number one in the country. Well, my parents say it's kind of like a target on your back, like everyone wants to get you and Everyone wants to beat you because you're the number one guy. And I like that because I like getting everybody. That means I'll have everyone's best match. And uh, it's just I'll get pushed. And you got to still wrestle like you're number two and you want to be number one. You can't just sit on the number one spot. He's a unique wrestler where he has great talent. I mean, that's a D1 caliber kid. I and mean, he's great talent that he's born with. But he wrestles hard. He goes out there to tournaments. He puts a lot of time into it. So that's what kind of cultivates it. That drive and work ethic is paying off. Lance is not only beating the best Minnesota has to offer, he's also had the chance to wrestle on a national and international stage. I went to nationals a couple times and won out there, and then uh, I wanted a little bit more tougher competition, so I went out to Akron, Ohio for the world qualifier to wrestle over in Serbia, and I won the freestyle division, so I went over in Serbia and wrestled, and. Uh, that was a great experience. I got beat right away, but it was a great experience, and I'm looking forward to doing that again. He works hard at his craft, but life on the wrestling mat, for the most part, comes easily for Lance. He wishes life for his mother was just as easy. Joanne Benick was diagnosed with a brain tumor in 2010 and was at stage three cancer. The cancer for now appears to be gone, but the 33 radiation treatments have had their effect on Joanne's health. Lance wrestles for her. She loves wrestling. She'll never miss a meet or a, even if it's against the worst team in the conference. She'll come and support the team and support me and she's always there and it's awesome and just seeing her overcome what she has, it's a big motivator for me and when we're in here doing sprints or something, it's like, well, I can do one more sprint. My mom went through brain cancer and surgery and survived. I can do one more sprint. It's not, it's just something to help motivate me. Give us to Benick. On the football field, number 10 Benick was a versatile weapon for the state class 6A semifinalist Eagles. He's a sport he's played since third grade, and he loves his multiple roles on offense. They'll throw me in at quarterback or running back or tight end or whatever and just do my thing, and they just say, have fun, and I love it. It's cool being able to play more than one position and knowing more than one position. With the section team title now secure for the Eagles, Lance and his teammates will wrestle for spots in the state individual tournament this weekend. His goal is simple, to be a four-time state champion. Satino Grace has never had, I don't think they've ever had a three-timer or a four-timer, so that's my goal, and that was my goal when I came here, so I'm going to try and work for that. Benick will wrestle in the Section 5AA Individual Tournament Friday and Saturday at Orono High School. The state tournament is next week.